All right. This is a recipe for that pound cake, the top one. It also can be used in that 10-layer chocolate, 12-layer chocolate cake that Mama's got a video on or earlier Baby Doll's got a video on. The top half is the pound cake. The bottom half is the icing for that chocolate cake. But this is that buttermilk pound cake recipe that I'm making now. And uh, also the recipe for that 10-layer chocolate cake. But you have to make it in little bitty thin layers. You have to make it in little bitty thin layers. Hey, but she's got a video on it. You can watch the video and see about the chocolate cake. We add it again, we. Four eggs. Pound cake. Second one. Second pound cake. Four eggs. Here my butter and my Crisco. Right here. Half cup Crisco, stick of butter. Which is a half a cup, because some butters are not a half a cup. You put some sugar in that? Yeah. With one cup. Two cup. Half cup. All right, now I gotta mix that together a little bit, huh? Yep. Now you're following instructions. <laughs> She said I didn't do it right. She said you gotta cream your, your hot grease and your butter and your sugar together. And then you're supposed to drop the eggs one at a time. I ain't never dropped them one at a time on this cake, baby. No, you don't have to on that one. This is one that you don't have to lay out your, your ingredients and that's frozen. You don't have to do that. But, um,. He was going to start off with the eggs. Got it? Need about. You see, you made me mess up another bowl. You don't have to wash dishes. Now you know how I feel sometimes. You don't, you don't even think about it when you're cooking and I'm washing. flour put your egg you don't put your egg um you you um uh, the flour there was three three cups yeah three cups of flour three cups of self rising flour and a cup of buttermilk and you just you add it alternately now this recipe is um you use self rising flour which on all my other pound cakes we use plain flour and lay out everything at room temperature. But those are firmer cakes. This is a um, cakey cake. Cakey cake. And my bunch likes it better, so I make both of them. I, uh, we made one last night for Josh's birthday. And it's almost gone. Is it? I think so. How much milk did you say? A cup. A cup of buttermilk. A cup of buttermilk. We quit now to this. They don't need no more desserts. Now, this is the only thing you see me measure on. Rest of the time, I'm just doing my thing. Cup of flour. Dash of milk.
Come on. Cup of flour. Dash of milk. One more cup, how many cups? Three. Three cups of flour or mm -hmm. two and a half? No, three. I'm making a mess in this thing. Just don't, do, don't make a mess on your dishes. I'm not. Try not to. Go ahead and put you a little bit of flavor in a teaspoon. And don't go over with that. Normally we use vanilla, but we're going to use some orange flavoring. We ain't got no vanilla. I make I put orange in my whipping cream pound cake. That's why we got it. How much you say? Teaspoon. Mm, there's a half a teaspoon. There's one teaspoon right there. TSP, right? Mm-hmm. Is that enough? Yeah, that's enough. That smells orangey. We'll let him finish mixing this and we'll get back with you when we pour it up we'll show you that we got this pound bacon with flour that you perfect release that you spray your pans with it's got flour in it this is the best thing since sliced bread when you're cooking a cake or something and you want it to fall out you just spray your pan with this just spray it a little bit Shake that, do that middle thing too. See there? Oh, yeah, you, did, you already did, didn't you? I already did it. See there? A little flour in it? Do it again and let's put it up. Let me close it to them. Got All just right, a little flour that? in the grease? Normally, I grease it with Crisco. Or uh, butter and, butter and flour. Put flour in there and shake it around. That's, a, that's the best thing if you bake it since sliced bread. Now we're just going to put this batter in here, scatter it around. Try to level it out in your pan a little bit. Keep your cake level when it cooks. All right, there's the bowl. Mama's like a young one. You didn't leave me much. About that bowl. Is your oven, you ain't got the oven on. Yeah, I have too. It ain't either. Keevan went off, he blow the fuse. I'll trip the breaker. Be back in just we'll a second. We'll be back in a little bit. There you are. He's got it in the pan, ready to go. We're going to put it in the oven. When you come in from hunting and you take a bath and turn the hot water heater on and you're on a 20 amp circuit and you turn the oven on, you can't run both of them. You're going to run one big appliance at a time. Hair dryer, heater, microwave, oven. Only one run at a time when you're on boondocking on 20 amp. I forgot to turn the hot water heater off and it tripped the breaker. So we ready to go with my cake. 
gonna put my rack in here. Put my convection rack in there. Set that right up there. Press that start button. An hour from now, about an hour and 10 minutes hey, from now. There's what that cake looks like. And then you cut it and that's what it looks like. We done cut it, I forgot to take a picture. Hey, I get started eating, I just can't wait. I just can't wait. That's the best pound cake you can get right there. That's my no fail. Easy bake. I bake that one. We'll put the recipe on there for you. All right. This is a recipe for that pound cake, the top one. It also can be used in that 10-layer chocolate, 12-layer chocolate cake that Mama's got a video on or earlier Baby Doll's got a video on. The top half is the pound cake. The bottom half is the icing for that chocolate cake. But this is that buttermilk pound cake recipe that I'm making now. And uh, also the recipe for that 10 layer chocolate cake. But you have to make it in little bitty thin layers. You have to make it in little bitty thin layers. Hey, but she's got a video on it. You can watch the video and see about the chocolate cake. Well, I made this journey with you. If you like my papa's channel, Roadmaps and Chaos, make sure to like and, and smash. We pray we'll see you in the rapture.